All right, guys, so here's a little glimpse of the EQ experience that Mercedes sent me to. Um, it was pretty cool because it got to enlighten me on the on the EQ and the electric vehicle that uh, Mercedes has to offer. And it was just a cool experience because I've never been to anything like this for a dealership. Um, so, yeah, I hope you guys uh, enjoy this uh, video. Um, this first uh, part of it was just us in the meet and greet and, um, you know, the the food and, and um, my team and everything like that. And uh, it was it was really exciting. So this is us just pulling up to the EQ uh, experience. Um, I guess you would say it's like a like a teaching center for uh, people to go and see. And um, this is all all of the salespeople and and parts people inside getting ready to learn about everything that the EQ has to offer. Um, it was pretty cool, man. Um, this big old facility was just amazing. It had everything from a from a couple batteries in there, uh, EQ batteries, and all the the ways to charge uh, your the EQ. So on the General Motors, so we get rid of the transmission and we want to do direct drive. All right, you come right out of the motor with access. Mm. Theoretically, it's not like a kid's go-kart, you know, these electric go-karts is basically all they're doing. Power has a little motor, direct drive. They limit the speed based on the mechanics and stuff like that. So simple. So we could essentially do that. Um, these motors, depending on a particular motor, they can spin at your speed. All right, it's, it's almost one, you only got one gear. So you can manage motor speed right and then through the gearing decide what your top speed is if you think about the mechanics of it it's really pretty easy to do you know there's a lot more to it than that but um it makes a whole lot of sense all right now when we talk about our folks here different videos all right so maybe take a picture of them down a little take a look at it but it says it says it on the internet it's kind of cool information to catch up on or information down the road all right so um i'm not going to get into the full assembly of this because you will do that here and we'll go try it but here's the so this part was pretty cool. They we got to uh, build a Lego that was uh, electric powered, uh, simulating an electric powered vehicle, and we got to race it around this little track right here. Uh, as you could see, none of us did very well. Um, we all kind of sucked at driving, but it was it was cool. You know, it was interactive and um, very very neat way to to learn about the the EQs and the electric vehicles. And um, in this next photo, I'm going to show you guys who won uh, the race. Yeah. Yeah, we got an AMG. Because I'm flying right, right green, now. Green is flying here, guys. We're right behind him. Uh-oh. We're spinning out. <laughs> oh, go, 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 go. As for myself, uh, as far as the electric vehicle goes, um, I was never really into the electric vehicle. I sold Chevys for a long time, and we had the Volt and the Bolt. And uh, I thought the, the Bolt was pretty cool, you know, because it was gas and, and electric. Um, as far as the Bolt, I didn't really like the, the shape of it. Um, but, you know, the, the Mercedes puts out a really good... Uh, good uh, electric vehicle and um i think if if i was to to get an electric vehicle i would 
choose uh, a Mercedes over a Tesla or any other vehicle. It is just a really solid uh, vehicle. And um, if I was to have one, I would probably end up doing it like this, like lowered and, and everything uh, like, like this one is. Uh, this is just uh, 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 how they used to dress when they used to make the, the batteries. And here's a battery right here. So this was on day three. Uh, we got to actually drive the vehicles. Um, I couldn't uh, film myself driving, but uh, I got some footage of uh, the other, uh, one of the, the salespeople from, um, I think it was from New Hampshire. I'm not too sure, but uh, yeah, he was, he was taking a drive first. And this is just to show you guys how capable these uh, Mercedes uh, electric vehicles are. This is off-road um, and we, we we took them off road for for a good while, and you know it handled everything that that uh, this little track uh, threw at it. Um, these are really capable vehicles, uh, ready for anything. I was quite surprised with the the Mercedes. Um, I mean, look at just how how close I am to the ground right here. It was pretty freaky, and then we went up this little hill, and um, you know they told us to take our foot off of the off of the uh break and just sit there and the car held itself it was kind of crazy you know um but keep on watching it's pretty cool So I landed in Alabama on a Wednesday and it was raining that day all day and all night as you could see the the track was pretty muddy and uh, th this is what I mean by the this big vehicle is very capable of of getting you through uh, whatever uh, obstacle it throws at it um, uh, there was no no wheel spin at all uh, when even if you tried to make it spin there was no no spin it just kept the traction and uh, you could see the little divots and stuff and uh, it was it was actually a pretty smooth uh, uh, ride when you're inside of it um, you know it was it was uh, pretty amazing at, at how this uh, vehicle uh, handled itself uh, quite impressive So they were telling us about this AMG SL uh, that uh, it was, it's called the Frankenstein because it was made of five cars that were actually totaled. Uh, I thought that was a pretty cool car. I don't think this one was electric. Uh, this one was full gas. I think it was a 5.5 5 uh, V8. This thing must get it. This is more my style right there. Passengers, if you were not able to kind of go through some of the menu settings on the home screen and our EQ menu, feel free to go through some of those as I talk about the recuperation modes up here. Alright, so right now we're all in no recuperation. We should all be in no recuperation. And if we'll take that left side paddle shifter as we just stay steady throttle at 22, 23, 24 miles an hour, Left side paddle shifter, we go to our D, which is normal recuperation. Plane change. Again, you're going down the middle of a highway. All of a sudden, something stopped in front of you. You go hard to the brakes. You realize, I'm still going to hit it, so you turn, right? ABS, anti-lock brake system. Allow. 
So these cars weigh 6,000 pounds and the maneuverability in these cars is amazing. Uh, as you can see, um, we hit the gas and then made a maneuver while hitting the brakes. And uh, it did amazing in this little test that they did. And the stopping power of them is just incredible. Um, I was quite impressed with this, with this car. Hey, thanks for watching, you guys. Uh, don't forget to hit like and subscribe. Uh, it helps me get into the algorithm of things and uh, helps me get subscribers. Thank you again.